YouTube, it's your girl, it's really sharp, and I am back with another video. If this is your first time watching, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and become a sharp baby. If you already subscribed, welcome back. Um, y'all, so today I know y'all can tell from the title by that title and that thumbnail what we're gonna be cooking, y'all. Today we're cooking um shrimp and chicken alfredo. So uh yeah, today we're gonna be making our own sauce, our own alfredo sauce. This is my first time making it. You know from scratch i normally use the little ones in a jar the ragu i think it was ragu and then it's another brand yeah i normally use that but today we're gonna be making it from scratch i got the little ingredients from off of youtube y'all so we're gonna get straight into the video because it's kind of like y'all's husband cooked but uh we're gonna get straight into the video we're gonna use um where's the stuff okay for the sauce we're not gonna do the sauce just yet. We're gonna make the shrimp stuff first, but we're gonna use Parmesan cheese. I got two bags, one for just like after it's done. If you wanna put a little cheese on it afterwards, you can. Got Parmesan cheese, you use half and half milk. I got the half and half milk. Um, salt, pepper, what else? Oh, garlic, we got the garlic, and it was something else. Parsley, I believe. You can put parsley in there too as well, y'all. And cream cheese. Uh, the cream cheese is going to be in there. So, we're going to go first. I'm going to... Uh, let me see what I should do first. I already got the meat right here, y'all. We're going to season the meat first. That's what we're going to do, y'all. The meat right here. In the sink already. I done rinsed it. But I'm going to rinse it again. Because, you know, this is the chicken. We're going to use this chicken. And then, these, this, we make a fish too as well, y'all. We got fried fish. This is tilapia. So I'm gonna rinse this off again. We're gonna season this and let this marinate because we're gonna cook the fish last. You know, when the uh, Alfredo is almost done. Cause you know it doesn't take fish like a couple seconds to get done. I mean minutes, not seconds, y'all. Don't listen to me. Do not be cooking your fish for uh, two seconds or three seconds. Take like three minutes, four minutes to cook fish. So I'm gonna rinse it again. I already did that off camera y'all so because i didn't want the video to be super long with all the extra stuff so i had to prep the stuff beforehand and the chicken is already already rinsed too as well but we're gonna re-rinse it and you rinse it in cool water don't rinse it in hot water because that's just not what you're supposed to do okay so i'm gonna let this shake out yeah and I'm gonna grab the seasoning so we can go ahead and season this stuff and let it just sit. Matter of fact, I'm gonna cook the um, shrimp first and then I'm gonna go back and cook the, the chicken while the other stuff is cooking because we're gonna put the shrimp, the chicken on top of the Alfredo once it's done. We're not gonna, um, we're not gonna mix it in. I don't really want, oh, wait a minute. I'm always doing something. Nope. Why'd I just do that? Y'all, did it get darker? It probably did, y'all. I keep messing up my camera, but let me see. All right, y'all. So we're gonna use to season the fish. We're gonna use lemon pepper, uh, some slap your mama, and some seasoning salt. A little less. <laughs> I ain't gonna put no obey on it. I'm gonna put some black pepper too. And I ain't gonna put too much into y'all. We're gonna season all this stuff just the same. The chicken and the fish is gonna be seasoned the same way, so yeah. But we're gonna put obey on the shrimp, so let's go, y'all, because I'm all over the place. Let's go. So we finna short season this meat first. We're season. We're gonna season the fish. We're gonna go ahead. Season this fish. That water. Yeah, I told you I can't stand on the water. The water be building up in the boat. I can't stand it. 
And I just washed my stove. I mean, my uh, sink out, y'all, too. So, don't worry. I literally just washed it out with bleach. Okay, that's enough seasoning. Y'all see that? That's enough seasoning, y'all, because you don't need that much seasoning for fish, y'all. Because fish, I don't know why, for some reason, it, um, it holds seasoning. Like, it, you, if you put too much, you can't season fish like you season your chicken. Because you'll be doing entirely too much. Okay, a little bit of slap your mama. Just a little bit. That's enough. We don't need a lot. A little bit of that accent. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Okay, and a little bit of lemon pepper. I'm going to open this because it's brand new, y'all. I just bought this today. So we're going to open this up. Mm -mm. Come on, open have a hole in it. I'm just do it like this. That's enough right there. That's all we need for that. Okay, and I'm going to uh, season. We're going to season the, the chicken too and let that marinate while we cook the shrimp. Because I do got to season the shrimp too as well. So let's season the chicken. Eating this salt, same ingredients, y'all. So, literally the same ingredients. Yeah, the which one I go with first? I'll slap your mama. I'm gonna slap your mama. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Y'all, I feel like this is going to turn out so good. I haven't cooked uh, chicken alfredo in so long. Like, I used to cook it all the time, but I don't even... Like, you know how you just be missing something? And you just go cook it? Well, Kevin said he wanted this, so I'm like, yeah, we can eat that. Because I be forgetting about it. You know how you made something, used to make something so much, and then you just forget about it after so long because you be trying different stuff, and then you get to addicted to the new stuff. And I think that's what it be, y'all. I really think that's what it be. Mm -hmm. Put a little more pepper. I don't feel like that's enough seasoning. It's not enough. And I want my chicken to be, you know, delicious. Deliciosis. If I said that right. Delicious. Okay. Oh, y'all, what is I missing? Y'all tell me what I'm missing. I want to know if y'all smart. Tell me what I'm missing. Because I am missing something. I don't even think I got none. Y'all, we missing the onion powder. Let me see. I'm going to let that sit, though, first. I'm going to see if I got some onion powder. I, I doubt it. I do. I do. I don't think I got some onion powder. Now, let me wash my hands. I'm going to put a little onion powder. On both. Yeah, y'all ain't gotta watch me do that because it's just onion powder. Literally just onion powder. So we're gonna sprinkle that on there. That's enough. I'm gonna put this back. Well, can leave it out because we don't wind up using it. So shrimps. Is this already easy for you to divide to your own? Well, I should have got the already peeled ones. Oh my God, is these, I hope I don't have to peel these. It's that easy peel, the do that mean? It's that easy peel, the vein and teal on. So that means you just got the teal on. I don't know y'all, I hope it don't. Let me wash my hands again. We gonna let this sit, like I told y'all. I'm gonna let this sit right here. I'm gonna set it on top of the counter for the time being so I can rinse these shrimp. Rinse these shrimp. Real good, you know? Today is Sunday, by the way, y'all. I cooked last Sunday, so that was my last, the other video that y'all see of me cooking. And what did I cook? Pork chops and dirty rice. So. Today, that's what I'm gonna do every Sunday. Y'all, I came up with this. So every Sunday, I'm gonna cook, even though I cook throughout the week too. 
yeah but i'm gonna just make it my business to record on sundays what i cook you know just so y'all can see what i cook on sundays or just different stuff that i cook you know I'm gonna leave this right here. Gotta make it so y'all can see. Gotta push it back so I'm saying I can see everything, everything, everything. Okay. Now, wash my hands real quick. Y'all hope I got the wrong setting on my camera. But sometimes it be looking yellow. It be looking real yellow. Okay. I got that already set. So now we're gonna wash the um wash this knife out. We got to wash the uh, shrimp right now. So I'm gonna start the sink up real quick and wash these shrimp. Yeah, so y'all can come see. Come see, come see. We took the all these shrimp, so I'm gonna need to try to open it up all the cute. Because we're going all the. Oh, that might, that's a lot. Lord. And with the chicken, I don't know. That might be too many. Yeah, this is too many. We're gonna put some back. That's a lot. Now I want it to go to waste, you know. That's, that's food is expensive. Throwing stuff away all the time, you know. So I'm putting in cool water, cold water, cold water. Well, I'm putting this cold in there. There's gonna be a lot of cooking though. Yeah. That's gonna take that long, but still, that's a lot of cooking. If you know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. Should I leave the tail on there or take it? <laughs> Should I leave the tail on there? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to peel the majority of these off. Peel these off. Peel them off. Peel them off, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta peel them off. Look crazy if you don't. Yeah, so once I get these peeled, uh, I'll be back because I don't want y'all to have to watch all this. But basically, that's all you do. See that? It's clean already. This side look with the shell on. Y'all know. Look, I'm talking to like, yeah, like y'all know. But for the ones that don't, don't. See this? You pull it off because you don't want that in your Alfredo. I know somebody that made some Alfredo. One time, and they had all the shells on the Alfredo, I mean, on the uh, shrimp. So, it was kind of hard to eat the Alfredo because the dang on shrimps still had the shells on it. Yeah. Can't be out here just doing it. Y'all know what you're doing if you're going to be cooking. See, that's clean. Let y'all watch a couple of them. Then we're going to go to the next. On to the next. On to the next. Yeah, it's the whole process, so. Yeah, I'll be back once I have all these de-shell, de-veined. I mean, de shell because they already de-veined, so I'll be back. All right, y'all, so I'm finally done de-shelling these uh, shrimps, but I'm gonna try to see this water real quick. Look at that water. Y'all see all that around there? That is trifling. That's why it's so important to clean your shrimps. So this water is nasty. That water was nasty. And these are the shells right here. Yeah, that stuff is trucking. But we got all those clean and we about to get ready and cook them. All these shells. It's like I this right here because it's a lot. It's a lot of shells. Literally a lot. That's why it's really, 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 really important because that I must look like the water that they came out of. 
Like, you look good trapping my hand. I'm gonna rinse them again. I'm gonna wash this sink out real quick. Y'all good? Which one? I'm trying, I'm almost trying to see which one I should cook first. I feel like I should cook the shrimp first because I thought I'm getting to put them in the Alfredo and while the chicken in the Fish is cooking. You know, it's gonna be all like killing two birds in one stone. You know what I mean? Nothing like that's the best thing to fit. Okay. kitchen yeah make sure you clean up behind yourself as you go to always clean up behind yourself okay I'm gonna rinse these shrimps one more time and cold water This is gonna be a lot of shrimp and it's really not but once I deshelled them, they came down, they came all the way down, so yeah. It's gonna be just right. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the pan and let this cook for a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the pan and let this cook for a little bit. Alright, y'all, let's get this video started because baby, what are we doing? We finna put y'all over here. Cause y'all got to see everything, everything, everything. Let me see. Put the oil in the pan up a little bit. So we gonna use, yeah, I just like to put the olive oil in the pan. Yeah, my hands clean. Y'all see, I wash my hands. I like to put the olive oil in the pan to oil it up. These killers be doing too much. I'm gonna put some, uh, what's the name? Some garlic butter. Yeah, I'm gonna use garlic butter for the shrimps. So we're gonna turn the out on. And we're gonna use this butter. This is the garlic butter I told y'all about in my last video. I love this butter. I love it. I'm gonna turn this water on too, y'all. I already got the pot. I made the water. Let me tell y'all. I don't know if y'all can see. Is it too dark or what? I hope it ain't too dark. But I already got the water boiling in this pot. I mean, in this pot. So we finna just turn it on. So it can start, you know, getting hot. And I'm gonna put a little salt in there. Just so the uh, noodles won't stick. This for the noodles. We got the fettuccine noodles. These are the noodles we're gonna use. So. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see. Okay, I'm gonna set that in there. We just gonna season the um, the shrimps, so y'all can see. We gonna season the shrimps. We got garlic bread too, y'all. But we gonna use a little bit of this. Well, let me pull some more of that water out. I told y'all I'm liking that water. Okay, I'm gonna use this one more. So we gonna use a little bit of this. 
not too much not too much just in a little seeding this out not too much a lemon pepper a little bit literally a little bit black pepper black pepper black pepper black pepper a little slap your mama we got a lot of seasoning going on here but hey these shrimps gonna be fat and gonna use some obey this is what we really need that's all we really need it but i'd like to put extra seasoning you know and I don't want my what's the name to taste like seafood. Like the, you know, the pasta that tastes like seafood. I just want it to be, you know, if that make any sense, taste like seafood and I'm I got seafood in it. I don't think that makes sense, y'all. It don't make sense. But we're gonna throw these up. I'm gonna wash my hands again because I forgot to put some oregano on there, y'all. Damn, why is it that high? I can put some oregano. I'm just tossing it in there. Let's see if I can put some oregano. Let's see if I can put some oregano. Okay, while well we I'm gonna put a little oregano. Uh oh. We're gonna put a little oregano on there. Mm -mm. Improvise, y'all. I told y'all y'all gotta improvise. It's my favorite one. Oregano. Let that cook. We're gonna let these cook for about three to four minutes. And then we're gonna take these babies out. As y'all can see, they already turn the colors. Look, it's turning pink already. So yeah. We're gonna let these cook in a regular. I don't know why I forgot to put a little minced garlic. I want to get a little bit of minced garlic in there. I forgot to put that. So we're going to put a little bit of that up for now. I don't want too much, just a little bit. Is that the juice? And clearly. That's enough. I don't want too much. That's enough. That's enough, okay? So we're going to let these cook for a little bit. And while this is uh, getting hot, we're going to start on a, um, now we're going to wait on the fish. We're going to wait to do the fish, but we're going to do this right here first. And then, yeah. So once this, um, you yeah, almost done. Yeah. I feel like I'm all over the place today. I really am. I just dropped my seasoning on the floor. I literally did drop my seasoning. The Obey. It looks dark. It looks super dark. Do I look super dark, y'all? Yeah? Tell me the truth. It looks super dark. I should have brought my, my light in here. Yeah, I need my light. Y'all finna go get the light. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. Do it look a little better? It look a little better. Because it was just looking too dark. Y'all, these shrimps is shrimping. I don't know what I'm talking about. But we're going to go ahead and start. I forgot I had to make this sauce from scratch. So we're going to go ahead and start on the sauce to as well. Because that's going to be, you know, a little quick little process. But still, we got to make the sauce real quick. 
So, let me get the pot for that. How am I doing this? Wait, I'm doing too much. At this point, I am doing entirely too much. This is warming. I should put this pipe. I'm gonna have to switch sides with this. I'm gonna put this over here so I can be able to have enough, have enough room. Yeah, this is all around. I'll put this over there. Yeah, so y'all can see. I switched it around because I had to put this pipe right here. The rear is on. Okay, in the front. So I can start on the sauce. So we're gonna use this pot for the sauce. Yeah, I don't use the measurements. I just use it. I mean, you know, taste as I go. So this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna start off with a stick of butter. For your sauce, we got a stick of butter first. Start off with that. Let this melt. And we're gonna put a little minced garlic in here. Um, the ingredients I seen on YouTube, they had a whole garlic. I'm like, I'm not going to put that in there. I'd rather use, you know, the minced garlic instead. Okay. And I don't do so much. Like I told y'all, I don't use the measurements. That's enough. I don't want all that garlic, you know. I love garlic though, but I don't want all that in my pasta. Okay, we got that. Let that melt down. Okay, shrimps. These shrimps done. Yeah, that is done. They are done. I'm gonna let it cook just for like a few more seconds. So, I hope y'all can see real good. Let me see, cause y'all looking at my legs. I'm looking at my legs. Look at my pot. Okay. So now we got, we're gonna let this melt down. It should be almost done melting. I ain't melting. Let this melt down real good. This is my first time, like I told you, this is my first time making my own sauce. So I hope it turned out how it's supposed to, which I know it is because your girl can cook. It ain't like I'm new to this, because I'm true to this. Yeah, I can go ahead, you know, that little piece can melt in the what's line while it's cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead, it says two cups of half and half, but I'm gonna pour enough. And this is the brand I'm using, yeah. I think I showed y'all in the beginning of the video. But I'm gonna pour the half and half in here. I'm pouring enough because I want my stuff saucy, you know? Saucy. I don't like creamy and cheesy, you know. I think I should use all this. What should I think? Okay. Let me see. I'm, yeah, I'm putting more. I'm gonna just use this whole thing. Yeah, I'm going to just use the whole thing because I want to be on the safe side to make it creamy. And I don't want my noodles to be dry. You know what I mean? I'm going to let that do what it do. And then we're going to put this. First, we're going to put the, um, I should let that get hot first. 
a little hot. But it can do its thing all together, so. This is the cream cheese. It said two tablespoons of cream cheese. I'm gonna put the half of the block up in there. I should put the whole thing. What you think, Kevin? The whole thing? All right, so I'm gonna put the whole thing of this cream cheese in there. If I can get it open. Shrimps. I'm trying to shrimp up. Oh, there's the mm -hmm. openness. Yeah. Sorry if I'm boring, but I'm trying to get this together, as y'all can see. So I'm put the whole thing in here. in layer, I'm going to add some Parmesan as well. And I wanted to add another Kind of cheese because I feel like this uh, Swiss cheese. This is some really good cheese. I wanted to add some of this in there to give it an extra, you know, off that extra flavor. So I'm gonna add that. That was not in the main ingredients, but I had it in my refrigerator. So I'm like, I feel like that would be, you know, good. Mm -hmm. I tell you, you can cut stuff with forks too. <laughs> Okay. Okay. This cheese is really good, y'all. Okay. That's enough. That's all I'm going to use with that. Put the noodles in the pot now too as well. So I don't know if I should use one or two, but we're gonna put the noodles in. There. Okay. Let's stir this a little bit. See what it's doing. See what kind of consistency we're gonna come up with. See how much more cheese I'm gonna have to add. Okay, this is gonna come along. We just gonna we're gonna come back once all this stuff gets together. Alright. Alright, y'all. So I got the um I got the uh the sauce. This is the consistency of the sauce. I don't know if it's too watery, but I doubt it. I tasted it. It was super good. Yeah, it's still a little watery, but then it thickened up, and it still got, you see these chunks? It's still a little chunks in there, so I'm going to let that um, cook down a little bit. I'm co continuously stirring it, so, you know, it won't get stuck to the pot, but it is doing what it's supposed to do. So, right now, we're going to check on the noodles and see if the noodles done. If the noodles done, we're going to go ahead and put the shrimp in there. It look like the noodles are done. Let's see. How do y'all test y'all noodles? How do y'all be testing them? We're gonna test one noodle and see if it's done. Yep, it's done. Mm -mm. It can go for like five more minutes, three more minutes, or something like that. I'm gonna let them cook a little bit more. So, uh, I guess while that's doing that, um, we can transfer these shrimps into another bowl to start on the chicken. Cause I'm tired, y'all. I am tired. So we're gonna put these shrimps, we're gonna put these shrimps in this bowl. So we can start on the chicken. I 
y'all see? Y'all can't see all the way over here, but y'all can see, right? This is about a shrimp. Not as many, but it just seemed like a lot. I don't know. It's probably just me. And those are a lot of noodles. I'm gonna have to throw some away, y'all. So while I was off camera, I put the other box in there. But I don't know, there might be too many noodles. And for the sauce, I know y'all looking at it like, why it look like that? What's all those little peppers in there? It's uh, I put parsley in there. I added some parsley to it. And I did add some salt and pepper to the sauce to give it some more flavor. So yeah, that's what that is. So we're gonna wash this pie out really quick. Wash this out. Put so the chicken. So we can put the chicken in there. I'm gonna take y'all where I got so y'all can see what I'm doing. We're gonna wash this out real quick, real quick. Okay. I like spread first. I don't like my towel. I don't know why for some reason I gotta catch people with. They have me super dirty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be super clean. This one was clean. So it's gonna get right back dirty. You put the chicken in there. y'all back over here i like over there i wish the stove was on the other side because i feel like it's more it's better lighting over there so yeah it's better lighting all right so we're gonna cook the chicken we're gonna put turn the stove on real quick this eye on medium high and we're gonna put some olive oil in the pot so the chicken won't stick I'm gonna let this dry up first, then we're gonna put the little olive oil in there. Yeah, it's gonna take a few seconds. Well, let me stir this while we waiting on that, because it feel like this stuff be sticking. Yeah, it's getting how it's supposed to be, y'all. Look at it. It's getting there. Definitely getting there. But you gotta keep stirring it, because you don't want that uh, cheese to stick at the bottom. So that's why. I keep staring. I'm finna um turn this pot down some too because I feel like it's cooking a little too fast. Yeah, it's okay. That's dry enough. Only this in here. That's dry enough, so we're gonna put the olive oil in there. The chicken has marinated long enough. So we're gonna go out here and set these little pieces. Pieces in there. Okay. 
Okay, so while those are cooking on the first side, I'm gonna go ahead over here, y'all, and we're gonna turn the deep fryer on. Let me take this off. Uh, I'm gonna turn the deep fryer on. Yeah, don't worry. I only cooked in this deep fryer, this grease, two times, and it was some um, chicken. And now we're gonna cook some fish in it. So we might have to change change this grease afterwards. But yeah. Yeah. I'm just learning. I done had this camera for a long time. And I'm just learning how to work it to make it look more crisp. I just press the button and it just did what it's supposed to be. And I'm like, okay. I've been wanting this to look like this for the longest, but y'all can see. Got that. The fish is right there. We gotta go in the cabinet, y'all. Don't my man, my cabinet. Look at it. This is the cabinet. It really needs to be cleaned out, y'all. We're gonna do a video cleaning this, this out because this don't make no sense. We just got stuff for days. Oh, look, see, what it is, I just do this. I just drop it. But this is the fish seasoning we are using, and that seasoning, whatever that was, just went in my nose. And now I got to see. But we need to really clean it, clean it out. It ain't like it's nasty, it's just packed with stuff. It's not nasty, y'all. I keep my stuff clean. So like I said, you see me wiping it now. I just hit a little seal. You gotta keep it clean, y'all, keep it clean. You can't do roaches. I don't know why I'm talking about that in my video, but y'all, we can't do roaches, okay? <coughs> well, we can't do sneezing all over the food. That's seasoning. That's what you just did that to me. But, um, let's see. All this stuff. All this stuff, yeah. I'm all quiet today. Normally, I'd be talking my butt up. I think because I'm tired. Yeah. I was partying last night. Like, I literally was partying. I went to the to the bar and did karaoke and sung F and F, y'all. And I ain't know not a lick of the dang on song once I got drunk. I was literally turned up for no apparent reason. I gotta keep stirring this. We still got strings of the cheese in it. So oh, yeah, y'all look at the chicken. It's doing that. Let me turn this down so I'm just see her. Okay, in the fish. We got the grease getting hot. So now we just gotta wait on the grease to get hot so we can go ahead and cook the fish. So that's what we waiting on, y'all. So let's wait on this grease to get hot. Okay. We can flip this chicken though, because it's like it was cooking fast. Let's flip it. Flip it. Smells good too. Smells real good. Mm -hmm. Why is it sticking? That's the whole point of the olive oil. That's why I said it's quicker to say. That's the, uh, I had to act too high. I got to turn it down. Y'all yeah, know always doing something. Yeah, this is what I said. I could have put a lot more olive oil in there for this. Cooking too fast. I mean, sticking too fast. Okay. Alright, so the noodles should be done. I'm gonna drain these noodles real quick. Let's drain the noodles. And drain these real quick because they about done.
I'm gonna just go on here and put the Oh, the rear. Oh. This is the noodles, y'all. Come see. Y'all can see. Can y'all see it? Oh, it's too much smoke. It's probably too much smoke. But we're gonna pour this sauce on up in there with the shrimp. We're gonna put the shrimp in there first. It's the shrimp. So I can have this part already going, you know. It's the shrimp. Why the shrimp look so dark? The this the shrimp in there. And now we gotta put the sauce. The sauce, the sauce. I'm gonna put this because it still gotta cook. Oh, I still gotta cook. Yeah, so. That sounds good. Oh yeah. Look at it, y'all. Ooh, we just how I like it. Yes. Y'all, let's start on this fish because at this point, I feel like we're taking all that. Okay. At this point, I literally feel like we're taking all day. the fish y'all it been marinating since earlier not that early but y'all know since we started it's been marinating so now i keep touching stuff and then have to keep washing my hands i'm about to put this seasoning in this bowl it's probably enough it's probably enough because i'm not frying a lot of fish so let's test the grease. It's, it's making noises. It's making noises. Talk it to me. So we're gonna go on here and put a few pieces in there, have many pieces that can fit. That's I keep telling y'all. The um 
Deep fryer will be your best friend. Because you ain't got to stand over it like a pot do. Like when you frying in a pot, a pair of deep fryer, you ain't got to do all that. It's going to do the job. That's that. So now we're gonna put this my hand for the mic my Alright, so now I'm just gonna drop them, drop them in. And they shouldn't take that long to cook, so while it was cooking, we're gonna be over here flipping this over. And y'all, that's it. So once all this stuff get done, I'll get back to y'all and show y'all the finished product. Everything else is self-explanatory, so I shouldn't have to keep recording, you know, this rest of this little process because this is basically it. So yeah, I will be right back on here to show y'all the rest of like how it looks the ending process for y'all. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all leave a comment. Okay? Hold on. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. It ain't over. All right, y'all. So everything is done. This is the finished product. Yeah, that's what it is. I just put the uh, chicken on top instead of chopping it up in there. So, y'all, that's it of this cooking video. I'm tired. TT finna go to sleep, okay? I'm tired, I'm super tired. So, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press that bell for post notifications so whenever I upload any videos, you will be notified, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Always remember, stay blessed and be yourself, okay? Be yourself. Be yourself. Talk to you later.